my sixth grade school year, my mom was trying to keep me very occupied, trying to get her kids into sports, keep when her kids busy and Vermont, healthy. I took an interest in Girl Scouts and gymnastics. Some my brother the most took an interest in football. His US. games were like it's very the Green Mountain range. range. And they and usually it occurred on Sunday the morning. On this Sunday side morning, of Vermont, it was really and late. My mom did not wake us up on time. I would usually go into the woods with my dog and spend a lot of time outside. Which is grabbing a lot of fruit, shoving them in a tote bag, and then driving away. I was Halfway smoking cigarettes game, at the house and just looking that I out over to go the mountains. My, apple. my so second I went winter when I was there, and I decided to go for I could about a mile long I think walk I finished because about of this stupid Reddit apple, thing called like random nodding, and which is where some AI or computer picks a point on a map and you're supposed to walk there. I decided to pick a day when it was snowing, and there was already about a foot of snow on the ground. Usually when I go for a walk out in the woods, I'll take my dog with me, but I decided not to because it was going through part of the woods that was some private property and some state forest but I didn't because know it's why. in Vermont I and had I was so confused my normal of, like, woods why are you gear on me, me like, when I was going wrong? out so I wasn't particularly she nervous or scared her car. I had gotten about agree. a quarter mile into this hike to this point so the woods got quiet and, and I started to like see body, really weird things around me like trees that were bent at impossible angles and then had grown back up in these weird kind of reverse U shapes or P shapes and um, others that were bent together and grown seconds, and entwined like a rope. To some lady but the woods were like still quiet at this super point. Super and so despite and seeing so much like, around, around me, it was really strange to know that there was nothing really okay. out there right then. I eventually got to the point body, where I was supposed to be, found some cool old gravestones from the 1800s and took pictures. Nothing really eventful happened, but it was pretty strange. And then my arms were like on fire. Tucked away in one hallway, there was a door. I couldn't see inside. It was too dark. Just pitch black behind the window pane. I stood there for a bit, staring. Today, I found my flashlight. After class, I went down the stairs again. I was just curious what would be there. I turned on the light. They looked right back at me. Today, I wasn't feeling well. I've been so tired lately, but I can't sleep. Sometimes I go back to the basement. It's the only place I can rest. No dice. Are you gonna cancel? Do you think it's sad no that dice. Virginia Woolf only asked for a room? What? Are you gonna cancel? A room of one's own. Oh. I don't know. Wasn't she talking about like a mental room? Do you think it's sad that Virginia will phone me? Like, ask? Are you explaining a room of one's own to me? What? No. A room of one's own. Oh. It's a pretty modest request. I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't she talking about, about like a mental room? Independence. Like without kids. Yeah, rooms can be. Are you made. explaining a room of one's house. own to me? No. It's a pretty modest request for a metaphor about feminist independence. Yeah, rooms can be big. I mean, your house. Do it without him. No. Really? Uh-uh. We do it without him. Really? We do it without him. No.
Oh my gosh, pause it. I did not write my sketch today, so I, I can't come. Okay, tell them all <laughs> the story. Sorry, 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 sor